what the hell is Saw Sports or whatever that last call was talking about? What the hell is that? Yeah, that it's a from Free Love, man. What's good, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Spitz with another Spitz Quick Spill. I got a quick little spill I want to do for y'all. I want to talk about somebody who had them a heck of a game versus the Atlanta Falcons and one of my favorite players on the team, and that's Will Fuller the fifth. And before I get there, I want to just send a special shout out to the Fuller family because I think they're so thrilled that they kept that name, Will Fuller, going around for five generations. I think that's player that they continued the name for five generations. I saw just a little quick little shout out to y'all. But Man, I'm so happy and so proud of my boy Will that he got that type of game that he had against the Falcons. Because, man, he he completely deserved it. Because he gets a lot of flack. And you could tell the team felt the same way. The way Deshaun kept trying to get him the ball um, on the one-yard line, he got stopped twice on one-yard line. And then when he finally got his third touchdown, how the team was like holding him on, they showed the pass. And then at the end of the game, he broke the team out. Because, like I say, Fuller gets a lot of flack. He is probably one of the most people on this team that gets flagged and you know some of it justified you know the drops he had his rookie year i get that I understand that but then also some of the stuff you know the whole injuries like stuff that he can't help i mean yeah he tore his acl last year and he missed a lot of time but his rookie year he only missed i think two games and he missed the beginning of uh deshaun's rookie year i think he missed the first three games of that season but he came and played the rest so it's more so nagging injuries here and there but i mean last year was the worst one with the whole acl but like I told y'all, man, when the dude's on the field, the dude is on. I've been saying that for a long time that on Will Fuller would start on half the league. He would be the number one receiver in half of the league. He would be the number one target on 15 teams in the NFL. I've been saying that. I like This receiving talent that we have is second to none. I guarantee you that. And let's just talk about the type of day that he had because not only was it a career day for him, it was a rent, it was a franchise day. It was a record day. He tied Andre with um, the most catches in the game with 14. He also tied Andre with the most touchdowns in the game with three. And he also had a career high of himself for 217. I mean, his boy's just balling. I mean, he has elite speed. He's one of the fastest people in the field. He's elite speed. He's one of the best route runners as well. He's a elite, not an elite route runner, but he's a very good route runner, a very exceptional route runner mixed in with that elite speed and that's the reason why I feel that he could be a number one receiver on half the teams in the league and like I said I was sold on on full of day one like after his first two games when he was the first receiver in NFL history to catch uh, over 100 yards I'm like yep he was the first receiver in this uh, first two NFL games to catch over 100 yards. I'm like, yep, we got us one here. It's just a shame that we had number 17 throwing him the ball. And then Deshaun's rookie year, the way he was every game, two touchdowns. He had two touchdowns there, a touchdown and a buck, a buck 50 here. Then last year, the game he gets hurt in Miami, he has 100 and some yards at a touchdown. And the play that he gets hurt on, the pass interference, if he doesn't get pass interference, that's a touchdown. And that's probably a 200-yard game. I mean, like this receiving time that we have is second to none and he's a he's a part of that and like i said i know he just gets a lot of flack and like i said some of it with the drops and that was more so his rookie year because he's cleaned that up he will drop some here and there but the mixture with him and hop you know the whole dread duo and like i said this is the best receiver this is the best receiver court that i think of i think these text receivers are some bad mothers shut your mouth i'm just talking about the text receiving court i'm just talking about that only thing the problem with us is will Bill O'Brien continue to step in the way and will continue to get out the way rather and allow because Tim Kelly called plays versus the Falcons allow Tim Kelly to do his job because we got a quarterback who gonna do who gonna throw that thing we got a quarterback who gonna throw it we got the best one on one receiver in the NFL I mean shit if Hop is single covered he's not covered then you got Will Fuller who could run routes and is fast in the motherfucker. Then you got Steels who's fast. I hope he still can get healthy. You got Steels who's fast. You got Kiki underneath. You got these tight ends. Like, what else more can you want? We have weapons. We have weapons. We have weapons. And probably the biggest thing about Will Fuller, the thing that probably made me the most happy about Will Fuller after the game is that, you know, they have the whole, if you ball, you get the call. And he got the call from Deion Sanders and Deion's congratulating him and telling him about how good of a game he had. And the thing that he says, he said, man, anybody can have a good game in our, in our uh, offense. He said, our offense, the, the way we scheme, anybody can have a good game. If it's not me, it's going to be Hop. If it's not Hop, it's going to be Kiki. If it's not going to be Kiki, it's going to be the back. So I'm like, man, in today's NFL, when you have all these diva receivers like Antonio Brown doing the stuff that he does, with Odell doing the stuff that he does, and you got a guy who's cool, 
cool club. I mean, we talk about how quiet Dre is. We talk about how quiet Hop is. Will Fuller might be quiet than all of them. He might be more quiet than all of them and has just as much talent. Like I said, he's faster than both of them. And I'm just happy that we have those type of receivers that we ain't got We ain't got to worry about that. I've been saying that, that Fuller's going to get paid, so pay that man. Pay that man, Rick. Rick, pay me. That he's going to get paid, but he's not going to be commanding a whole bunch of money because I don't just don't see him being that type of guy. Trust to believe, he want to get his bag. Like he, he don't want to be hold, but... He he wants his bag, but he's not gonna be out there like, oh, pay me. I need to be the highest pay receiver in the NFL. He's gonna take enough to make sure that everybody can eat because that's what's gonna happen. Everybody's gonna eat in this offense. Everybody's gonna eat because we have the type of weapons that we have. Everybody can eat, and I'm just so glad that my boy had the type of day that we had. So people stop riding, my boy. People get off my boy back and let and let him do his thing because yeah, he might not. He's not gonna have 200 yards every game. He's not gonna have three touchdowns every game. But he is going to explode with games like this. Next is gonna be Kiki. Next is gonna be Steels. Hop gonna quietly. He he like a quiet assassin. He gonna easily get you 70, 80, 90, 100 yards and a touchdown. You like damn. Hop had 10 catches for 112 yards in a buck. I, I mean, in a touchdown. I didn't even see that coming because he gonna do his quiet assassin. He's not gonna do his all flash. He gonna get his. He gonna get his and get his out. But the way the rest of these receivers is, especially Will Fuller, I'm just thinking that, man, the sky's the limit. If Bill O'Brien stays out the way, continue to let Deshaun do his thing and continue to let Tim Kelly, because I think that's what Tim Kelly was doing, allowing Sean to do his thing. We do that, the sky's the limit. We just need to bring that same intensity versus Kansas City. So, in other words, Sauce Nation, peace.